All right guys, so Todo's list app looks awesome at this point. Let me fire python manage.py run server. python manage.py run server and once I fire this command, I'll be able to start my development server. Before I start the server, before I go to the link where my app is started, I want you guys to access this playlist if you haven't already done that. I want you guys to bookmark it and save it so that you can have it and watch the videos that you want if you want to come for a quick revision or whether you want to look for some syntax or something, you should have this playlist at your disposal. Having said that, I'll start my website, which is a to-dos list app. And we saw that we can add this is DESC and once I submit it has been added and it reflects here. So I would like to talk about some of the customizations that is possible inside this to-dos list app. Firstly, we don't have a footer here. So what we can do is we can add a footer. So in order to add the footer, what I'll do is I'll simply come to my index.html and I'll add a footer. In order to add the footer, I'll simply say footer and I'll simply say copyright 2020 and then I'll say all rights reserved or something reserved and you can simply say p.textcenter if you say p.textcenter what actually happens is you can use this bootstrap class to center everything and you can basically bring everything to the center. So let me show you how this looks. So if I reload this page, you can see everything is at the center of the page. Uh, in order to make it look a little more better, I can simply say BG dark and this will look dark. But in order to make this visible, I'll have to make the color of this text white. So what I'll do is I'll say text light. So in bootstrap, white is called light. So I'll reload this page and you can see that I have this footer. Then there is something called, um, I think the name of the class is sticky footer if I'm not wrong. Now there are some of the classes which are difficult to remember. So I'll simply say sticky footer bootstrap. I think it's footer bottom or something. I'm not sure what it is called. So in order to search for that class, let me look for the class. Okay, so the class is called fixed bottom. So what I'll do is I'll add this fixed bottom class. It's not sticky footer. My bad, it's fixed bottom. And you don't have to remember all these classes, believe me. You can simply look into some sort of, you know, you can simply Google search or you can look into some sort of cheat sheet or something. But at this point, I'll simply save this and I'll see whether this works. And I can see that it has reached the bottom of the page, but I can see some margin here. Let me see where this margin is coming from. This margin is coming from this paragraph. So if I add margin bottom or say if I add margin zero, uh, margin becomes zero. So I can simply say MY zero or MB zero, but at the same time, I want to add some padding. So what I'll do is I'll say set margin to zero, but set padding to three. So this will basically add some padding and it will increase the size of my footer as you can see. So these are some ways to get this text at the center of the page and design your footer accordingly. There are a lot of other ways to design the footer, but since the footer was missing from this page, I just wanted to design it. At the same time, what I'll do is I'll copy this footer and simply paste it inside my task.html. So let me do that as well. And you can see that we have this footer inside a task or HTML as well. So copyright 2020, all rights reserved. You can change the text. You can change how this looks. There are a lot of ways you can customize. You can simply add, add the rate. I think it's copy. Let me try. Sorry, not at the rate. It's ampersand copy semicolon. And this inserts a copyright symbol. Yes, it does. So you can simply search HTML symbols. And you can get a lot of these symbols. So there are a lot of reference websites, this being one of those. And there are a lot of symbols that you can use and copyright was just one of those. So I use this one, ampersand copy. You can use ampersand reg, euro trade, LARR. There are a lot of other um, HTML symbols. So you can simply look for these HTML symbols and you can use those in your website. 
so the to-do list looks amazing to me at this point you can add some javascript if you want you can add some sort of uh, event listener if you know what an event listener is event listener will simply listen for change event inside this uh, text box so so this is an input with type is equal to text and if you add something inside this input tag let us say i add django uh, i would want this django to come up and i don't want this to show up this to show up or anything which doesn't contain django to show up this should show up and once again this should show up and anything which contains django in title or description should show up so i can simply add some sort of bootstrap or say css class and i can say that the visibility of that particular row is hidden hide that row or maybe make it none make the display of that particular row none and show only those rows which contain this thing so if you want to search for something inside your tasks then you can do that very efficiently similarly inside an ideal to-do list app you will need a delete button as well because if you don't have your delete button your list will keep growing keep growing keep growing and it will keep going at the point when it will be very very difficult for you to scroll down so you need a delete button you need an update button you can add those endpoints so i want to give you a quiz at this point i want you guys to add an update button here and a delete button here and once somebody clicks on the delete button this app should actually make request to an endpoint so you can create an endpoint called delete and update and once you do that you should be able to delete or update the item of your choice okay so let me tell you how you can do that you can simply have an endpoint slash delete if this doesn't look idle to you if this looks haunting to you then i want you guys to watch this playlist till the end and you will get an idea of how to do that because there are a lot of other concepts that we'll explore further since this is a to-dos list app i just wanted to tell you how this can be customized further and how can this be made better so these are some of the ways you can make this to-dos list better at the same time what you can do is you can simply add some sort of welcome images here those will look definitely good and you can remove the search bar from here because it doesn't make any sense to keep a search bar here so let me do it right away so i'll go to my index.html and what i'll do is i'll simply remove this search bar from the nav so here's my navigation i'll remove this form and i'll save this so once i do that you can see this search has been removed from here but i want to keep it inside my tasks you might as well move this search from here to here so once you have this search from here to here it'll look good so another thing i want to talk about is uh data tables you might think what is data tables if you know what jquery is if you want uh, some jquery plugin to take care of your pagination stuff you can use data tables data tables is a very amazing tool you all you need to do is you need to include css of data tables you need to include javascript of data tables and you need to include jquery obviously and then after that you can simply add the id of your table and you can copy this thing and your table will look like this so if you have say thousand entries inside your table this page will become very very huge and your users will not have a good experience navigating through the entire page so in order to solve the problem you can use this plugin and you can simply you know add this thing and you will have this kind of navigation and it really looks very clean and this will give you a free search bar as well so if i say um, michael michael and you can have whatever matches okay so this is amazing tool we'll see how to use it i just wanted to call this out because you might want to finish this uh, to do's list app right away so you can use this as well so these were some of the ways which you can use to customize your to-dos list application you might as well add some of the uh, about services or maybe authentication inside the entire app 
but we haven't talked about authentication just yet so what we'll do is we'll talk about all these concepts in our further videos so i want you guys to access this playlist as soon as possible if you haven't done that already i want you guys to bookmark this at the same time if you haven't already liked this video please make sure to like this video it gives me a lot of confidence and i'll come up with more and more awesome videos like these in the future so that's all about this video guys thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time